If you're in the bush, or even your own backyard, you can make fantastic gourmet meals. So I'm visiting bush cook and tour operator Andrew Dwyer in Victoria's high country to get some terrific outback cooking ideas. What are we going to be cooking, Andrew? Well, today we're going to prove that you can eat in the bush as well as in the best five-star restaurant, and it's absolutely no effort at all. It really is simple. We've got this cryovac meat here, which is a rule out of lamb. It's going to keep for two weeks on ice. And so throw the tin food out the window. Hang on a sec. Roulard does not sound like camp cooking to me. I thought you had to have, like, you know, canned ham, little dried oh, up peas. No. Awful, awful, awful. No, this is wonderful. You stuff it with some garlic just to get the flavour into it. Some mustard across the top. A few fingers. Wow. Some salt just to give it a nice crusty flavour. And then I whack it in the camp oven here on top of a bed of onions. We'll pour some port in. It gives it plenty of, uh, port, plenty of yeah. fluid. Port, yeah. Never taken port, well, you're not going to eat the port, but it just sort of permeates the flavour. Oh. And then some sprigs of fresh rosemary out of the garden. Gosh. Looks whack fantastic. Whack the lid on, and we're over to the fire. That easy. That's it. Pizza. What we're going to do is, instead of throwing the camp oven on the fire itself, that's absolutely lunacy, because you'll singe your eyebrows and burn your meat. And so we're going to have a fire away from, from the main fire. But most importantly are the coals that we're going to put on the top of the oven because the heat will radiate down and the juices of the meat will mix with the port and it'll have the most sensational lamb. It's absolutely delicious. You don't want to be afraid of cooking in a camp oven. I mean, you do it a couple of times, you've got it down pat. So let's go do the veggies. Great idea. So Bridget, what I'm going to show you now is how to cook the best veggies you've ever tasted in your life. Yum. We're going to cook them in a baduri oven. The baduri was designed by the stockman on Baduri Station. It's made out of pressed steel. It's light. The lid can double as a frying pan, and it was particularly designed because the cast iron camp ovens were heavy and used to crack in the pack saddles. What's the best vegetables to take away camping? Wholesome, fresh, leafy greens for the first couple of days, and then you move into things like pumpkins. I mean, they, they come in their own natural packaging. <laughs> Great idea, and they're hard and tough. Yeah. Hey, can you pass me an onion now? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to cut up our onions. So you cut them radially. So they come out in these thin strips, just like oh. the Chinese do. Good cooking tip. Yeah. Now, how long do you actually cook the meat for? Um, look, it depends on the size of the meat, and it also depends on the wood. Out in the desert, the wood burns very hot and slowly, whereas up here in the high country, it burns cold. So it's a bit of trial and error, but the one thing that's really good to know about camp ovens is that things happen slowly. So you can just keep checking? Yeah, just keep checking it out. You grab those, I'll put some of this virgin olive oil in the baduri, and uh, we'll get back to the fire. Get cooking. Yo. Okay. Yeah, so you, you dig another little pit just away from your fire, whack your baduri on with your olive oil, and stir your, your onions up until they become transparent, so they're nice and cooked. And the, the whole secret of this is that once the vegetables have all braised together, you get this delicious caramelisation, the sweet veggies. Okay, so our onions are ready. We're going to add these carrots, some lovely Desiree potatoes, parsnip. We've got these delicious little minikins, lovely little pumpkins and these little baby cauliflowers, which are absolutely superb. Mm. So, in they go. Huh. Give them a good stir around, because what you want to do is you want to get the, you want to baste them and get the, the onion easily spread through so the flavour goes right through the whole dish. And then these baby collies can go in. In go the minikins. Make sure you've got a bit of oil spreading across everything. And then you just chuck some soy sauce into the water, maybe a couple of dessert spoons or so. In it goes. Can you pass me the lid? Sure, I can. OK, and now you just cover it with coals? That's it. Set and forget. The veggies and meat should take around an hour and a half. Ingredients to make the lamb roulard dinner for six will cost around $25. Cryovac meats will keep for about two weeks and are available from good butcher shops everywhere. OK, here we go. Look at that. Little out of lamb. <gasps> oh, yum. Oh, this is going to be absolutely superb. It yeah. looks sensational. Have a taste of it. I might. Oh. And piece de resistance, baduri braised vegetables. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> so you can eat just as well as at home, as long as you're organised and a bit of preparation. No, oh, better. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Next week, Andrew Dwyer will cook the most mouth-watering chili yabbies you'll ever see. 